I'm gonna take this little Kubota tractor to mow a little bit of a a place where a guy used to keep his horses. But before I run over there, it's been sitting on my trailer for a few days. I just started my truck. That's what you hear running right now. But I'm gonna start this tractor. <laughs> Let it warm up a little bit. I already got everything checked. It's good to go. Need to run by the gas station for some diesel. It's got gold plugs. It's uh, down to, I think, close to the 30s last night. It's a little bit cold nature. Let's see what she's going to do here. Apologize to my loyal customer. I mean, uh, viewers. I did a uh, little bit of job work this morning. What did I do this morning? This is the afternoon now on Monday. What did I do today? I went and did a job. Oh, I went and brush hogged the horse lot with my little tractor. Then I took my brush hog off. My brush hog off of it. And uh, here's my little tractor, I'll show you what I did. I put my blade on there. See my, the blade I got, I finally hooked it up. I put this blade on my little tractor. It's a five, six foot blade. It's all she wants. But she does pretty good actually for grading the driveway. It won't pull a full blade of gravel probably, but. I bladed this right here. There was uh, like all this dead uh, grass that I sprayed was on my drive about two more feet over probably from where it is. I just went down through there and bladed it. It did pretty good. Then I then I pushed it down, get back before on a little bit. But yeah, we'll get some jobs, and you guys will be seeing that working. Here in the future. I don't know if it's a good one or not, but she acts like she's a little bit loose. Putting up my chain here for my lawnmower. Oh, I got my chain wrong. There. Hold my mower up. This here, I don't know if this is wore out or if it was made that way. I'm gonna have to go look at my dad's. I think it's made that way, actually. Because I don't have much wear on it. It's got paint fade because it's set outside, but it don't have much wear. It's got some serial numbers there that are about to wear off. Looks like they might be indented into the... I wish I could get those to see better. But it's pretty cool. It had another place for a hitch. This is as wide as my tractor can barely fit on this thing though. It's almost too wide. But it works. You probably go down and push up that dump with it. I got my forks on the front too. Oh, those are still holding up pretty good. I welded those pieces of pipe on there. Picking up logs and brush. 
the tractor just uh, it did about two acres maybe of brush hogging this morning. Took me about, I was in low. I was going to buy some new front tires because those are so dry rotted, but I aired them up and they look pretty good now. I'm going to run them until I have to. I might buy them and put them in my garage so I'll have it when I need it. That's probably a good idea. I can get two of those front tires for $135 off of a Walmart site. So I'll probably end up doing get me a set of those tires and just keep them in my garage. Or get me a back tire too, just in case. You never know when I'll run something through that and ruin one of my back tires. It's been a pretty good little tractor. Probably need to upgrade someday though to a newer one. I think I'll put that blade down so no one kills herself. Somebody could jack around some kids walking down the street. They might think this is a toy. That's a pretty good size blade, ain't it? For a 14 horse, two wheel drive tractor. We'll get some uh, video of it uh, grading driveways. I really like it. I didn't know, I was, it pulls this better then it pulls the box blade. I think I'm going to keep my box blade. I might sell this box blade actually and then try to get me a bigger one for this tractor. Because it's too little for this one. Or I could keep it and just keep running it because I did do some jobs with it. I'll probably just run it until I wear it out a little bit and then try to sell it. I need a six foot box blade. And then just run that with the box blade on it. Alright. This ain't the setup I wanted. I'm still waiting on my Husqvarna head gasket. It's supposed to be here today. I might put it in a little bit tonight maybe. I don't know if I'll get it all the way done tonight or, or tomorrow or something. But we may work on it tonight until we're done. So... Anyway, the mailman is supposed to be bringing my head gasket today. And for Big Sun, this is what I started my lawn care business with. My Cub Cadet 50 inch. Can't remember when I bought that, like uh, around 2000 something. Can't remember exactly when I bought that mower. Probably you can look up the date on it somewhere. I need to get it going again though. My deck's rusted out. The main thing wrong with it. Yeah, it's got a twin cylinder 22 horse Briggs. And I've replaced one of the transmission. This one here, I think. Let me look at this one. I remember which one it was. Uh, I think it was the other one. I think by looking at the axles. Dang, I'm going to have to get in there and look at them make sure. But I got the other one in the shop. I got to put it in too. But that's what I started my lawn care business with. That 50 inch. And then I had a white, like a Craftsman mower. That was a 32, 32 inch right on one more. Then I upgraded to my Dixon, 72 inch Dixon and this mower I ran quite a bit together. It's got me a 36 inch walk behind commercial Cub Cadet I run. What the hell? get out of here little sparrow but this ain't my uh, choice of we of uh, lawnmowers to be doing leaves with I got my best two lawnmowers on here and I wanted to have my Dixon 72 and my grass and my uh, in my Husqvarna I wanted to have my Husqvarna and my Dixon, which I will have on air next week. Maybe by the end of this week, if the weather holds out. I'm supposed to get some rain toward the end of the week, so it might be next week before we see the Husqvarna out there doing leaves. But I did figure out I can get my leaf trailer 
and the mower that's going to be picking leaves up and this mower here I think my dicks gonna fit in the same area as that one does let's measure it real fast and see yeah, about right there one two three four five six six and a half or seven feet let's go see how long this Dixon is I can't believe it's six and a half seven feet long I think it this in here might be better because see I got room right here about a foot where my deck is I can straddle stuff let me go around I'll go the whole length of it one two three four five six seven I think this mower might be a hair shorter than that than that one it's a 72 inch shorter than that 61 I'd rather have this one on there though than uh but I gotta work on this one though, it's missing a little bit. I gotta figure out what's going on with it too. We're gonna get into the shop right after the Husqvarna. So right now let's go uh, see if we can uh, do a yard real fast. I got one yard here in town. I've been working on my shop. It's a little, I got some room, I got some floor space. I got it all moved over there. Holy crap, hang on for a minute, I gotta hear this music. There's something else I went over to my, well, I'm working on my sh shop here. It's getting way better than it was. I just got a, what do we got here? My selfie I made. I need to re-weld it though because I was in a hurry and fixing it one day when it broke on me and I welded, my, welded it on wrong. So it's, it's, it pulls at the wrong pitch so my feet ain't on there right. I need to make it a little bit different anyway. I got that little that little air compressor, just as jack, and that's uh, this ain't nothing. I can move it somewhere, but I gotta find something to do with that. I'm wanting to build me an office on the side of my garage somewhere, maybe right here on the other side of that wall out front, kind of toward the road, so I can make it look like a there's a business here. But I wanted to use that in my office because I wanted to have like a big enough room where I could have a a little place to sit and relax and watch TV or something. Like if I'm waiting on something or something. And use this for a coffee table. Doesn't that make a cool coffee table? That chest? Yeah, we're not any further on my Husqvarna than I was the other day because I was cleaning this shop. It's a way better than it was though. I got actually I could walk around. I can walk around. It's awesome. I can move in my garage. <laughs> it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I'm not even falling down over nothing. I'm not even falling down. I was falling down over tripping over stuff. So uh, yeah, I ain't got my phone on me. I don't know what time it is. But I got a little yard over here that uh gonna go do their leaves real fast and uh yeah let's go do it one more thing before i go do that yard i was gonna say i went over to my machine shed i got a little machine shed to keep uh, some tools in but uh i had to out a piece of equipment that i hope i don't need it for a whole nother month or so but i got it dug out just in case and that was my snow blower. This old power reverse Montgomery Ward snow blower. I repowered it though with the Harbor Freight 212 cc. That's like six and a half horse. A predator. It's just a 20. I got a 26 inch or 4 inch snowblower over there too but I should rob the motor off of it for a wood chipper that I got another one what the heck but uh yeah I got that dug out it runs I drove it over here around all the way around my house we got it it needs probably chain grease my chains and stuff like that 
get it ready to go. Alrighty then. Let's go do those leaves. I got one yard I want to do. Okay, you guys are... This is like uh, a couple hours later than what it was. It was a couple hours earlier than what it is. But now it's a couple hours later than what it was. But uh, you're going to be mad at me. Some of you. Some of my loyal followers. Because I uh, just did a big nice yard. And I didn't tape nothing. I ran over it with the Ferris. I'll just tell you what I did. I ran over it with the Ferris. Pretty good. I went over it just like a regular mow. Dropped up the leaves. Then I hooked this grasshopper up to this trailer. And I blew them in there. And it was uh, up the hair in the front. In the back it was up on the middle a little bit. But uh had a little over half a load in there of this. That's what it looks like, the chopped up leaves. And I brought them home, dumped them over in my mulch pile. And tomorrow though I'll get you some actual footage of me chopping some leaves with the ferris. And then loading leaves in the trailer with the grasshopper. And all I gotta do to them is unload them on her property in the brush piles. So we'll probably get close to 10 loads tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see what we get. It may not be quite that much, but I've been over there and chopped them up twice already. And I just want to get in and out and get her done. So, because I got to be over here at another house, and my neighbor. And I'll film that one too. It's a littler one, but she's got a lot of leaves in there. I'll have to chop them up a little bit with the ferris though. And then we'll pick them up. I did want to do my leaves with these, but I guess they ain't no different. They're the same as uh, the Husqvarna is a good mower too. It was just an older mower. I wanted to use my older mower on my on my leaves, but actually the fair I mean the Husqvarna is a residential mower, but it stripes better than both these mowers. The grasshopper stripes pretty good. I would say the Husqvarna is my best striper, and then the Dixon, the grasshopper, and the Ferris up it last out of four mowers on making stripes with a factory stripe factory deck or whatever I don't know why it is either alright that's it that's it for this one and then we'll see you guys on tomorrow on the big leaf yards I'll see you tomorrow don't forget right over here or over there one or the other you can look at a video or subscribe or look at a video and subscribe one way or another you guys can figure it out.